I was talking to uh, Mary Berry, Wendell's uh, daughter, about is this another populist moment? Are, 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 are the people out who are fighting the, the, that USDA system where the corp, large corporations and the USDA work together and the little guy has no chance? I said, I think it's time for another populist moment that we're going to rise up and make some changes. And she said, who? There's nobody left. Right. So my friend Barry Lynn wrote the book, Cornered, talks about the concentration, consolidation, monopoly control, basically uh, monopoly capitalism and how detrimental, detrimental that is to our economy. But Barry Lynn will tell you this is, we are entering in right now into, our, into the third American revolution. The, you know when the first one was, 1776, after right. Ben Franklin got back from Scotland and Ireland and says, hey, we ain't gonna live that way. Right. We're gonna fight. That's all it took in, to get that one going. And so we won that one. And then in 1900, the robber barons had assumed control of our country. Right. And we had Teddy Roosevelt, thank God, for a president. And he said, break them up. And Wilson finished the job. Right. And we restored fairness back to markets again. And, and farmers began to climb out of that hole. Farmers after being in particular, exploited. that's the golden age of parity. Yeah. That's right. And so now we are entering into our third American revolution but we're going to have to depend on the consumer to help exactly. us. Exactly. Because there are so few farmers, and Mary Berry's right, who? Well, her father is helping start it. I right. mean, he's an inspiration to all of us, but we have absolutely got to fight. But we've looked, I think everyone's reaching that same conclusion. Your consumers in the front range of Colorado and this food system have to ally with you and the other small producers to make this to recreate this parallel economy that they own and that's resilient and they control and that's fair and equitable and just, it ain't gonna happen any other way. They are supporting everything that is good when they buy good food from local farmers. They're, right. they're supporting their local economy, they're supporting their health and well being. They can get rid of their doctor bills and their pharmaceutical bills and a lot of other things. And, and there's a future for their children if, if you've got a wealth creating machine going, which is called farming.